Okay, Bismillah alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salamu ala rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Um, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters, um, welcome to this afternoon's uh, Strawbridge Challenge brought to you by Muslims in Rail. Uh, Jazakallah khair for giving up your Friday afternoon to participate in this activity. Um, inshallah, it will roughly take about 30 minutes and we've got a fun packed uh, session for you um, and I'm sure you'll find it thoroughly enjoying. So before we get started, British Science Week. Everybody who's involved in education should know about British Science Week. British Science Week is an opportunity to celebrate all things science. Now, as I mentioned earlier on, um, it wouldn't be possible without science for us to talk to each other over Zoom, videos, broadband, laptops, computers, whatever it's got there's some element of science involved in there and this week or these 10 days is an opportunity to celebrate all of those things but also the opportunity for us to share with you um how you can get involved in science um and i'm pretty sure you you a lot of you have have science science is a big part of your life um and the way the world is moving more and more people are getting involved in science-based activities whatever that might be okay so who are muslims in realm okay you might have heard of us, you might not have heard of us, okay? Really simple, we're Muslims that work in the railway. We could be train drivers, we could be people who plan how one train gets from one location to another, we could be people in the background counting the money, we could be people who are cleaning the stations, it could be a variety of things. But in essence, it's a way of Muslims coming together in the railway. Why do we come together? We come together to have a lot of fun. We go out for dinners together, we raise money for charity, we go and provide careers advice, we do STEM activities in, in schools, um, we bring colleagues together to talk about Islam, whatever it might be, it's a great way of bringing the community, our Muslim colleagues together to participate in activities. Now, um, before I hand you over to Mr Siddiqui, I just wanted to mention to you that we have two partners um, the Association of Muslim Schools and we have the uh, Association of Muslim Teachers, both are partners of this event and I just wanted to say thank you to both of them. Now, Mrs Siddiqui, she's the star of the show today, inshallah, she's going to do most of the talking, not me. She will run you through the activity um, and tell you a little bit about what's planned for the next uh, part of the session. Assalamu alaikum Mrs Siddiqui. Wa alaikum as -salam. how are you this blessed Juma day? I'm great sister, how are you? Alhamdulillah, Alhamdulillah. Looking forward to this activity and seeing what all the secondary pupils will produce. Alhamdulillah. Right, so I'm going to carry on from here. So uh, my name is Mrs Siddiqui. I'm a secondary school science teacher and I have been teaching for 20 years. So let's see what exciting new things that you can show me for everyone watching now. So this is a challenge and it is a science challenge and we're looking at um, so the next slide, just for the introduction, we're just looking at how to make bridges from straw. So we're looking at paper straw, um, mainly um, paper straw and sellotape. What can we do with it? And, how, you know, what can we think about it? How can we put it together? And uh, we're looking to build bridges. And people are thinking, well, why bridges? I've always thought bridges bring people closer together because you've got from you go from one place to another and it makes it easier for you to get from one place to another. Bridges are also once they're built, uh, they are they last a very long time. They're not one of those quick structures that appear and disappear. Once you build a bridge, it lasts a very long time. So we know if we look at the Iron Bridge, we're looking at hundreds of years, uh, hundreds of years old. If we go back down sort of to the aqueducts and uh, we go to Turkey, we go to Greece, anywhere like that, we see a lot of bridges that are thousands of years old. So they last a very long time. So, but what is the point of bridges that you're asking me? Well, bridges, like we said, are made to transport things or people over an obstacle. So it could be a river, it could be two mountains, it could be um, a, a lake. I, I know that it goes over part of the sea from one part to another island, so crossing islands. Um, and there are different types of bridges and different types of bridges for what they do. The basic bridge is the beam bridge. So that was way back when, when they thought, okay, let's just chop down a tree and put it in over the gap and we can walk over it, okay? That's a basic beam bridge. Then people started thinking more about it because they're using it. They're, okay, how can we make this stronger? How can we make this look better? How can 
we make it so that it helps us do what we need it to do. So if I go through the different types, this is just to give you some ideas of what maybe your bridge could look like. OK, so a basic beam bridge, an arch bridge, a suspension bridge, a cable stayed bridge and a cantilever bridge. So these are sort of the basic types of bridges just to get your minds going on, OK, what are bridges and what do they look like and things like that. Now, speaking of look like, have a look at this. That covers a lot of area. Can you see the tiny ant-like insects? The, the tiny, tiny ants on there. They're not ants, they're cars. So we've got hundreds of cars going along here. We can see it, the vast distance that it's covering and it's going into the sea. So it's covering a, a large area and it needs to be stable and you need to build it while underwater. Wow, what a feat of engineering. As you know, that's called the Golden Gate Bridge from San Francisco. Now, that's not just one type. So that's more like a suspension bridge. You've got the basic lever, uh, you've got the basic beam at the bottom, and then you've got sort of suspension things coming up. This is another bridge crossing over a cavern. So you've got two big mountain sides and you're going across it without having to go all the way down and then all the way up again. That's a basic lever bridge, but this time you've got sort of supports coming up along. So you've got a lever and an arch combined together. So that's another type of bridge. Now, this is an iconic bridge. I, I don't think there's anyone in the world that does not recognize this bridge. It's the Tower of London Bridge. Um, and it does a function. It's a brilliant function because it's actually a bridge that separates up in the middle, lifts up, allows big ships through and then comes back down again. So there's that feat of engineering. There's the look of it. It's not just functional. You've got buses going through it. You've got cars going through. It, you've got people walking across uh, across it. You've got ships going under um, under it. And it looks absolutely amazing. So when we come to design our bridges, you must also think of uh, aesthetics. How does it look like? It's not just functional. Can we make this functional beautiful? Okay, um, and uh, things like that. So that's what we're looking at. What is the actual task you're asking me? The actual task is to build a bridge and it can be any type of bridge you want. I'm going to just give you a couple of ideas and examples of possibly how you could start off, but I'm not going to build the whole bridge for you this time. I'm going to see what you come up with. Now it's a build a bridge to span a gap of 25 centimeters. So the bridge, if you make it exactly 25 centimeters, as soon as you put your can of baked beans on, what's going to happen? The bridge is going to collapse inside. So you've got to make it longer. The gap has to be a minimum of 25 centimetres. OK, um, and like I said, it's got to withstand a tin of baked beans. And there's my daughter saying, Mum, that's easy. Just empty the tin out and it will hold it. No, no, no. It's got to be a full can of baked beans. So it's, it's, uh, it has some weight. And if I read off the weight, it's at least 415 grams. So we're talking about 500 grams, half a kilogram um, on that bridge. OK, remember, this bridge is only made up of what is it made up of? Let's go to the next slide. These. This is the only things, these are the only things that you can use. Straw, paper straw, straws like that, plain straws, white straws, brown straws, dotty straws, any straws that you like, and some sellotape, okay? Um, obviously, I've got a pair of scissors on there. If you want to cut and shape, just be careful with the scissors. But yes, you can use the scissors um, as well. Can I use as many straws? Because if I get a whole big box of straws, sellotape them all together in one big bunch, that should obviously do it. Mm, a bit more of a challenge. You can only use up to 30, the maximum 30 straws, no more. OK, so you've got to cover um, this length of a, a, a ruler, a lo long ruler at least. And then you have to only use 30. Now think about that. Think about how you're going to make it strong enough to withstand the baked beans and also how to make it look intriguing, maybe a bit innovative, maybe put something in there that you have, you don't really find in bridges at all. This, this could be something that you think, okay, maybe I can do it this way, show some innovation. Why? Because this science week, this national science week, uh, the theme for it is future innovation. So show me your innovative and creative skills of what you could bring into something. OK, right, we're going to head off to the demo now. So I'm going to switch my camera on, put it up now.
can we see? Now, last time we did this, they weren't able to see the table clearly. Can I ask, uh, Brother Ahmed, is everything looking quite clear? Perfect. Good. Okay. Right. So, like I said, the resources we have a pair of scissors, we have some sellotape, and we have some paper straws. Now, if you want to, you can count out the 30 so that you know what the limit is. Okay. So, how could we do it? Now, if I show you the 25 centimeters, that's from there to there. And if I show you one straw, Show you a colour straw so you can see it. If I show you one straw, hmm, well, one straw is not going to do it. So if even if I did get some cellar tape and bunch it all together, that's not going to meet the design specification because you've got to cover at least 25 centimetres and one straw is approximately 19 centimetres. So how are we going to make it longer? Now we could just put two straws like that and we have another straw like that and a straw like that, cellar tape it all together. Do you think that would work? Now I'm thinking the weak point would be where the straws meet. And then as soon as you put your baked beans on there, what's gonna happen? Boof, it's gone, okay? So how do we make this stronger? I'll show you a couple of techniques on how to start building your bridges and then you can carry on. So one of the techniques, because obviously it's a longer distance, is to have overlapping straws. So we can have overlapping straws. Let me get these ones so we can see it clearer. So we've got some overlapping straws. Now it's got to cover the base of 25 centimeters. So if I just make it 25 centimeters, that's not gonna work. So I'm gonna have to make it quite a bit longer so that you have space on either end so it can sit on where the gap is. So it, you can have it between two stools, two chairs. I've got a couple of boxes that I'm using, anything like that. So if we overlap it like this, we've got the correct length, okay? So let's start putting that together. So if I have a few straws that I can use to overlap it and put it like this. So what we have now is the length is perfect, okay? Now, if we put it together, so how do we put it together? We come back to using some sellotape. So let's take out some sellotape and we're going to just put it together. Is that enough? Can I leave it as that and say, right, that's it, that's my bridge done, okay? Not really, because if I try to just do it like that, do you think that's going to hold the baked bean tin? Well, let's have a look, let's see if it does. So that's that. These are my two boxes. I'm gonna set it up at 25 and 20, uh, 25 centimeters. And that's my 25 centimeters. So this is what we've, we've just made. So the length is perfect. Can I put the baked beans? What do you think? Ah, oh, well, that didn't work. Okay. So what can I do to make this bean bridge stronger? I can add supports at the back. What are these supports like? They're just pieces of straw. You can cut them smaller and have them, or you can bed them. So if you bend them in two places, and fold them back on themselves, that's a support. And then you just sellotape it together, grab some sellotape. So you sellotape them together. And then if you stick them, you've got a, a range of supports and you just stick them on with sellotape. Now, if I'm counting my straws, so that's one straw, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. 13 I've used so far. So I'm, I'm almost halfway through and I'm only just making the base. So you really have to be careful of um, understanding how many straws that you will be using um, and then sellotaping all together. So if I sellotape all of these bits together, so this, this will be the supports, that's gonna add some strength. So I'm making this stronger. Sellotape it down, nice and easy, sellotape it down. And we have a basic beam bridge, very basic. Okay. Obviously the more supports that you put on and uh, making sure that you've got it wide enough. So the bridge also has to be wide enough to hold the baked bean tin. Um, so I may need to add a couple more straws along for the width, just to make it wide enough. And then we'll have used exactly half, 15. 
Okay. So, and I flip it over, that is my basic beam bridge. And then if I use it, because I've got the supports at the bottom, it will hold uh, the baked bean tin. Okay. Now that's quite a basic one. So that's just a beam one. Is that the only way that we can make it? Well, no, I'm going to show you another way. I'm going to show you this. What's that, I ask you? You're asking me. This is a triangle. Why am I using a triangle? Did you know the triangle is the strongest shape in the world? It's uh, when you add a fourth onto the triangle, so I'm pushing it down either end, it starts to, uh, the force applied is distributed along each of the sides evenly. So the triangle is one of the strongest shapes. How did I make this triangle? Let me show you. Again, um, you can cut with scissors and have three strips and then sellotape them, but then you're using more sellotape as well. But again, you can just fold them. So if I have, so fold it into thirds and third again, and then all you need is one bit of sellotape here. I'll show you how it's done. So you take a little bit of sellotape and you add one bit over here. We can use, we can make, if you have lots of triangles together, we can add the triangles to make a strong truss bridge, another type of bridge. So we just add all the triangles together. These are the ones I made earlier. So we put all the triangles together and then we sellotape them. So we sellotape there, 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 there. So it's in a, it's in a row. To add further support, you would add straws at the end. Obviously, you're going to need more triangles because you need to have the triangles covering at least the ruler length, okay? And then we add the support. So you're going to stick these together and then you're going to add the straw on either side, okay? The straw can go, you can make nice shapes, so you can actually add them further and make a nice shape. So for example, if I wanted it from here and we've had that, so that two straws will cover the length, but you've got this little bit hanging out here. If I fold this and then stick everything together like that, you've got a nice design there. So now we're thinking about design and strength. So let me show you what this would look like after you sellotape all of those pieces of triangle together. So we're going to end up with something like this. So now that's the correct length. Absolutely. So you've got the length. Can you find it? Tilt it up. You've got all of the triangles. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight triangles this has taken to make. You can use more. Okay. And then along the side, I've got uh, one, two straws, one, two straws, holding it in place. Did I leave it like that? No, I'm going to flip it over and show you. Remember what I was talking about supports? Exactly the same way. So you're getting your straw and you're folding it and folding it again and using that, sellotaping that together, you're using that to support the base. Now that is important so that the strength of the bridge is there. So it can withstand the um, uh, tin of uh, baked beans. Okay, so with that, let me get one that I've got. I've got a yellow one. Let's stick that one down. Um, um, we just stick on the support at the back. Okay, so this type of bridge is made up of triangles and then the support. So the support then at the bottom will hopefully help to withstand the base and the weight of the baked bean tin. Now, is that enough? So if I made the triangles without the support, I could also use it on the sides and make it like a Q or a U. Is that the only design? Well, no, we've got a couple of others. And so let me show you a couple of others. There's designs like this, which is straws that are folded in half and half again. So this time we're just folding in half. So that is that straw. And then half again that way and half again that way. So, and then you're attaching it to the ends. So you've got two ends, you've got your two uh, straw ends and you're attaching it like that. Okay, so that's another design, okay? Last design I want to show you 
is this one. So this is um, a basic one with two straws along and you're making like a ladder shape. Now this, um, unless you put your supports at the bottom, again, you need to add, make sure that the, it can withstand the weight if it's the base. If, for example, you're making this as the base and you've put that at the base, you can use these then to decorate and make it more creative and make it look uh, uh, a bit better, a bit, uh, a bit more interesting, make the design interesting. And you can just sellotape those along the side. OK, now I hope that's given you some idea that just before I, I finish the demonstration, let's just double check the thing that I've made. Let's just double check that it does actually withstand the, uh, the weight. This number. Put that in the middle. So we've got that. Yay! Alhamdulillah, it has withstood the weight. So we've now built the basic bottom part, so the base of the bridge that withstands it. Now we need to, to add a bit more so we can add probably maybe some rails or maybe some more triangles, make it look more interesting, maybe have some long straws up, put it together with some string to make it look like a suspension bridge, anything like that, just to make uh, it more creative and add to the design. Okay, so what exactly are the judges looking for. So if we go back to the PowerPoint now, and I will tell you what the criteria is. What are the judges looking for? We need to make sure that the bridge design is strong. It can hold the tin of baked beans. We need to make sure that the design is interesting. How does it look like? Think of the some of the iconic bridges um, around the world. In fact, you could possibly do some research and have a look at some of the beautiful structures of bridges that have form and function and maybe bring that into your design. OK, think of being creative. Is there something more we can do? Are there signs of innovation? How could we put this to make this look really interesting and still do its job? as well? Now, after that, I want you to think of a name. So we're still think, thinking, linking to the creativity. What would you call your bridge? OK, so we've got the London Tower Bridge. If you had a chance to name it, what would you name it? OK, so your bridge, what would you name it? As well as that, we are secondary. We need to start thinking a little bit more about materials, cost and time. Demonstrate some of your understanding of what materials would you use? What cost would it be? How, how long do you think a bridge like this? Because obviously you, this is just a prototype. If you wanted to actually build it, where would you build it? And what materials would you use? How much do you think it was going to cost? What sort of time factor that it's going to be? Show us some of the understanding uh, behind this um, uh, building of bridges. One thing I do want to say, you know, when you name the bridge, I'd like you to think of a location as well. Where would you place your bridge? What would be a useful place for your bridge? OK, so is it doing that job as well? Add some more into it. Let's see what we can come up with. I'll show you a couple of pictures now of previously um, bridge, previous bridges made by secondary school pupils. So here's, here's a couple um, uh, that have been previously made. Now, if you look at the first picture, they didn't just do um, a can of baked beans. No, no, they wanted to go further. They took a pail of water. So a bucket full of water and they hung on it, hung it at the bottom to see if it can withstand. And subhanAllah, as you can see, it did. And it comes back to that wonderful triangle shape. Remember, the triangle shape is the strongest in the world. And so you can see that the second bridge as well is using triangles, not just on the base, because the base is very similar to what I showed you with the triangles that I made there. They used it um, along the side as a design factor as well. OK, as a design factor as well. So if we go on to uh, the next slide, I think this is how to enter the competition. So in order to enter what we what we want you to do, how I have set it up with the ruler, with uh, the boxes on either side, with the bridge spanning the gap, uh, with the baked beans on top. OK, um, so I want you to take a picture once you've set all of that up. Take a picture of your bridge. Uh, try and take it at an interesting angle that shows all the parts of your bridge and you're emailing it to stem at muslimsinrail.org. So you're attaching it to the email. Now in the email, 
you must tell us your name, your age, which secondary school that you go to, what you've named your bridge, um, where you would put it, the location possibly, and your understanding. Um, so that's what we were talking about with you know, a little bit more about um, materials and cost and time, all of that put in as well. The deadline is that so we've got just under a week is Thursday 11th of March at uh, 1 p.m. That will be the deadline for entries. OK, right. I'm going to hand it back to uh, Brother Ahmed, who's going to talk about the winner's ceremony. Jazakallah khair, uh, Ms. Siddiqui. Uh, lovely demonstration. I'm really excited. Um, I, I'm sure that there's many people on this call right now who, are, who have got loads of ideas just waiting to get those straws out and get started. Um, just to let everybody know, um, we are going to have a winner ceremony, okay? And the winner ceremony is planned for next Sunday, Sunday the 14th of March at 5 p.m. So everybody who enters the competition, okay, will be sent an invitation for the ceremony, okay? We'll send you that via email. We've got, we've got your details already, so inshallah we'll send that across. Prizes will be given to first place, second and third, okay? Fortunately, everybody can't get a prize, but we hopefully, we hope that everybody will participate. And we've got a small team of judges. The judges consist of people from the Association of Muslim Schools, Muslim Teachers Association. We've got somebody from within the Muslims and Rail team. We've got a structural engineer from Network Rail who's also going to be there. So we've got a lot of expertise coming along to help support this activity, okay? Now, um, as we bring the session to an end, or before we do, um, I'm just gonna ask Sister, Sister Sultana, do we have any questions that we need to take? There are no questions. Okay, no questions, fantastic. Okay, so um, I just want to say Jazakallah khair to Ms. Siddiqui, uh, to Sister Sultana, uh, Brother Zaid and Hassan in the background and everybody else at Muslims in Rail for uh, arranging and preparing this event um, and to you for participating, giving up your afternoon for us. I hope you enjoyed it. Just to let you know, the session has been recorded and will be uploaded onto YouTube. We'll send you all the details across um, and inshallah, get started and uh, get those, uh, get those uh, bridges underway and uh, hopefully in the future, you never know. You could be a bridge engineer. You could be one of those bridges that we're walking over. You could become a, a really famous engineer who, who's taken the world by storm. Inshallah, let's see if Allah accepts it from us. Okay, take care everybody. Assalamu alaikum. Wa alaikum assalam.